Uh, he's, he's a jumbo scoring wing. He reminds me a little bit of, of Michael Porter Jr. He measured 6'10 in shoes at the NBA Draft Combine. Now, Williams never really found his, his groove or his footing at Stanford. The team lived in hotels for a lot of the season. Uh, he had a death in the family and, and briefly left the team. So he really never was able to kind of establish what he could do at the college level. But amazing frame for a wing. He can create separation on his jumpers at a really high level. And he showed some flashes, even if it wasn't consistent at Stanford. I think if he's able to put some of those flashes together on a more consistent basis, uh, we could be looking at a, a really high level scoring wing in the NBA. And we, as we know, those are so valuable in the NBA. The first time I saw Zaire Williams in person was at a summer tournament, and at the time I had no idea who he was. But he's one of those fun players who is clearly special simply from the less than a minute eye test. Put it this way, if you like spider looking freaky athletes who can guard multiple positions, shoot an easy three ball, and have some motherfucker in them, Zaire is the guy for you. Williams physically matches up with our idea of the prototypical two-way wing. Aside from having some of the narrowest shoulders that I have ever seen, he's huge. Six foot eight with a seven foot wingspan. Long enough to guard above his position and athletic enough to bother everyone else. I've heard people point to Paul George as a comparison and that would be a high outcome. He often reminds me of Cam Reddish and reaching back, somebody like Josh Howard. 